We're in the uh, Vallée de Joux, and I'm in Le Brassu at one of Blancpain's two workshops. The larger of the two workshops is about three or four minutes away. It's in Le Sentier, and there are some 700 uh, employees of Blancpain, watchmakers, engineers, technicians, work on the main part of the production. But here in Le Brassu, the world's oldest watch brand, concentrates its work on métier d'art, which is to say engraving, enameling, and other artistic uh, decorations for timepieces, and as well in the same building which Blancpain has had since 1860, the complicated watch workshop. And that's the part that we are going to visit today. We're going to look at the tourbillon carousel. Now I'm lucky today in that for the next few hours I get to wear the uh, Blancpain Tourbillon Carousel and it's this watch that's going to teach us exactly what a tourbillon is and what a carousel is. Now to uh, illustrate uh, and to give our tutorial on tourbillons and carousel we have the tourbillon carousel movement uh, outside of the watch here and we've placed it under this particular microscope, which is connected to the TV screen to my right. Now at the moment, we have the microscope focused upon the uh, tourbillon portion of the tourbillon carousel in order to explain what a tourbillon really is. Now what we're looking at at the moment is the uh, tourbillon turning. Uh, this is the cage that you see by my finger and it's carrying the balance wheel at one end and it's carrying the escapement at the other end. As with all tourbillons, there is power which is delivered to the cage which wants to make the cage rotate. And that rotation is timed by the escapement which is engaged with the fixed wheel. Now here is the core idea behind the tourbillon and this is the core idea that lay behind the invention that was patented by Abraham Louis Breguet in 1801. And that is, if a watch has a tendency to run fast in some positions, run slow in other positions, by rotating all of the timekeeping components 360 degrees, the watch will be taken through both fast and slow positions, and those rate errors will cancel each other out. And that's exactly what you see happening here, because the rate keeping components of the escapement, balance wheel, and spiral are all rotating 360 degrees once per minute, which will have the effect of canceling out the rate errors. Now, key fact about a tourbillon. A tourbillon, in this case, is driven from behind. The powertrain comes up to a pinion which lies behind the cage, and as it delivers energy to the cage to try to make it turn, it's both providing the power for the rotation around the fixed gear and the power for the escapement. Now that we've talked for a, a few moments about the tourbillon, let's move to the other portion of the tourbillon carousel, which features now the carousel itself. Now here we see the carousel and a bit of history about its creation. Breguet in 1801 patented the tourbillon and the key components of the fixed gear and the rotation of the timekeeping components was well known. Uh, after his uh, invention and his publication of the uh, patent. Now, a Danish watchmaker working in Coventry, England, wanted to do something somewhat similar, but also avoid the Breguet patent. And he invented what he called his carousel. And what was the idea of the carousel? Basically the same, which is to say, take the timekeeping components of the watch, the balance wheel, the spiral and the escapement and rotate them 360 degrees to cancel rate errors. But he had to do it in a different way than what Breguet had done in 1801 and that's the carousel. And if we look at the carousel here uh, under the microscope you'll see that there is rotation and you see the cage which is rotating but it's being done in a different way. 
With the tourbillon, we had a pinion behind the cage, rotating the cage and all the components and powering the escapement. In the case of the carousel, just as Bonnickson had done in the UK in Coventry when he invented the carousel, we have one powertrain coming to this small wheel that you see by my finger, which is rotating the cage. Now, you'll notice there is no fixed gear with the carousel, and that's characteristic of a carousel. Instead, there is additional power coming via a separate powertrain to power the escapement, which you see here. So, with a tourbillon, there is one powertrain doing everything. With a carousel, there are two powertrains.